So to kick off this course, I thought it'd be good just to explain briefly what Rome Research is all about. If you're taking this course, I assume you haven't spent a lot of time in Rome, if any. Maybe you've dug deeper and want to get a few uh, shortcuts, which we'll certainly get into later. But if you're new to Rome, you may wonder why people are talking about it so much. And it really comes down to three main things. There are a lot of little reasons we'll get into throughout the course, but the three big things I see are one, that it's fluid versus structured. A tool like Evernote is great, but you have to have folders inside of stacks and everything has to go in a specific place. And to a large extent, the same is true with Notion. Things have to go in a specific place. Rome, they don't. They can just kind of be free form and you'll see as we get into that how that works. You can get a free form link to places, create pages, and they all just kind of magically come together. It really works very well. Uh, number two is bi-directional links. That's kind of what makes the fluid system work. If you are on a page and link to another page, people, you can click to go to that page and see it. The beautiful thing is on that page, you'll see a link back to where you came from. And that can be very powerful too. If you link to a certain page numerous times for different places, you can see all the times you referenced that other page. Uh, for example, a book. If you mention a book a lot of times, when you go visit that book page in your Rome database, you'll see all the places you mentioned it and the context it was mentioned in and can really help you put, put things together in interesting ways. And then the third big reason is a focus on daily notes. Rome kind of structures itself around the idea of a daily note, where you just kind of start putting in what's going on today, linking as needed, and just kind of build your life out of there. And again, it works very well and gives you an easy place to start. You don't have to figure out where to go or what folder to make first. You just start typing your day and kind of things unfold from there. Uh, different for everyone, but really in a pretty good way. So in the next lesson here, I'm going to talk about my daily notes and how I do that just to give you some ideas. Certainly you can do things however you want, but hopefully it'll give you a good place to